In this video for Herb Computer Science, we're going to take a look at removing lines from a text file, but not just talking about it, writing code to implement it. So let's recap what we know with text files. So when you're working with text files, you can do three things with those files. We have three things in our toolkit that we can use to actually remove uh, data from a file. We can open that file to read. We can read the contents. We can retrieve those contents. We can also write to a file. Now, when we talk about writing to a file, we're not just talking about adding data. We're talking about creating a file that doesn't exist or taking an existing file, wiping all the contents and starting fresh. Then we have adding on to the end of a file, which is a pen. We don't want to erase the uh, current contents. We want to keep all those contents there and simply add on to it. That's the difference between write and append. So notice there's no option to delete. So if there's no option to delete, how do we remove a line from a text file if we don't have that option to delete? Well, that brings us to problem solving. We know what we have in our toolkit, so we need to figure out how am I going to implement one of those three tools or multiple tools to get me to do what I want to do? So if we know we cannot delete, we ask ourselves another question. We pose it another way. How can I remove a name from a file? Maybe that's your first thought. Well, that's the same question. So all we got to do is we got to dial it back and we need to think just a little bit differently. So we ask ourselves, what do we want to do? Because sometimes just saying out loud or talking to another person about what you want to do makes it pretty evident as to what you need to do. Trying to think about it in your head doesn't do the same thing. I see it all the time. I come over to my students, they say they're having a problem, and the first question I ask them is, what do you want to do? As nine times out of 10, when they tell me what they want to do, they say, never mind, I figured it out. So we just ask ourselves, what do we want to do? I want to have all the names except for the name I want to remove. Okay, so how can I pose that question? How do I write all the names except for the one I want to remove and how do I update that file? Is there a way for me to check each name to make sure it's not the name I do not want in the file? Well, how do I write all the names except for the one I want to remove and update the file? So I know I need to update the file, get rid of um, the name that I don't want. Is there a way for me to check each name? Absolutely, and we can simply do that with an if statement. So we know we will need to read the file first to get the names or the data from the file. Just start breaking it down into smaller steps. Deal with one thing at a time. Now we're gonna to need to store these and because we're gonna have multiple names, we're gonna need a data structure to hold those names, either a 1D array or an array list. You can use either or. We'll also need a variable to hold the name of the person we want to remove. So we're gonna to to ask the user, what name do you want to remove? Now, because we need to update the file, you may be thinking, okay, well, we need to append it, but that's gonna cause duplicates. We wanna get rid of everything. After we store all those names, we have them temporarily. We wanna start with a clean file. And once we store the names, we're gonna open the file uh, to write, that way it clears everything, and then we have a fresh file to write only the names that we want. But how does that remove the name? Well, as we're writing to the file from each index of the array, we check to see if the data at the current index, as long as it's not equal to the variable holding the name we want to remove, we're gonna write those names. So let's program this out so we can see how this actually works in code. So we're over here in vb.net. Now I've already written the majority of the code. If you're looking for the basics or the intro of reading and writing to a file, that's not going to be this video, but I do have one and I posted it in the description below. Always, if you have a question, please post it below and I'll do my best to uh, answer it. So I've imported uh, this system uh, IO. I have name remove. That's going to hold the name the user wants to remove. Now I'm going to use a 1D array. You can also use an array list uh, either or. You do not need both of these, but whichever one uh, you choose. I'm going to use a 1D array because Cambridge focuses more on a 1D array than they do an array list at the uh, time of this uh, filming of this video. So all names, I have placeholder and index zero because I don't want to use index zero. I want to admit index zero. Uh, why? Because uh, a lot of my students do and, you know, want to help them out. Uh, do you have to admit index zero? 
No, not at all. But a lot of my students like to do that. I like to do that as well. But these are the names I have. Herb, Annika, Aria, Anthony, Ladeja, Zaria, Juan, Francesco, Haley, and Tristan. So there are 10 names, not including placeholder. So what we're going to do is we're going to create the file. We're going to load the file, update the file, and then load the file again. We're going to create the file and take the data inside this 1D array. We're going to write it to the file. I want to make sure that I'm working with the file. I'm not looking to update or overwrite or remove a name from the array. I want to remove it from the file. So the best way to do that is to actually create the file with the data we're starting with. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to load that file and then I'm going to overwrite uh, the index of this array with the names from a file. Now it's going to match exactly because I'm the one who's writing those names to a file. Then we're going to update the file. This is where the removal is going to take place. And then after we remove it, we definitely need to load that file again to make sure that that name um, doesn't appear. So we have a file writer. This is where I'm writing all the, uh, the array to the uh, actual file. While we're here, I want to talk about writing and appending uh, real quick just to review. It's never a bad idea to review. Remember when you're writing to a file, creating file for the first time, or you want to start fresh, you want to use faults or don't have a second parameter. If you don't have a second parameter, like all I have is one, the name of the file, VB will put in faults by default for you, whether you have it or not. If you want to append the file, which means you want to add on to it, keep the existing contents, you're going to put uh, true. We're not looking to append. I don't want to keep anything. I want to start with a fresh file. So I can put faults or I can leave it by default. So if you're taking uh, a, an exam and they're talking about opinion the file, make sure you put that second parameter comma true because that's how it uh, that's how it works for opinion, not writing. So I'm going to take the uh, each index of the array. I'm going to write it to that file names.txt, and then of course I'm going to close it. Now what I want to do is I want to open that file that I just closed, and I want to rewrite it back to the array to make sure I'm working with data from the file. Maybe I want to change it uh, later on. So I want to go back and uh, do that. So I open the file and this is very important. You only want to have one read line. When you read the line, it actually reads the data, then it kicks the cursor to the next line. So if you have two read lines, it's going to skip one every time it runs. So what I want to do is I want to read from the file, I want to update or overwrite the index of that array because I'm not, I don't have a for loop. I'm using a variable count to keep track of the index. And then all I'm going to do is do a name and count all names count. And then I need to increment uh, count by one. So I don't have that. Otherwise it's all going to only hold uh, one name. There we go. And then I close the uh, file reader and then you always want to use a try catch statement. Is a try catch statement necessary for this video? Absolutely not. I know the file is going to be there, but remember, it's not about doing uh, what is easy. It's about doing what is good practice. And it's not going to hurt to write try catch statements. All you're doing is continuously sharpening those skills. Then we have the update file. Okay, what name do we want to remove? Once I get that, I'm going to go ahead and open that file and notice. I don't have true here. I'm leaving it blank or you can put false. Either way uh, will work because I want to start with a fresh file. I'm going to take the names from the array and write them back to the file as long as they're not the name of the, as long as the name isn't the name I want to remove. So let's take a look at how that uh, looks in code. So inside this for loop is where the uh, code is going to happen that allows us to quote unquote remove a name. So uh, if all names, if that current index is not equal to the name we want to remove, then we're going to write that uh, data to a file. If it's not the name we want to remove, um, we're going to write it to a file. Like I just said, if it is the name we want to remove, we're not going to do anything. We're just going to move on to the next index. So file writer dot write line. What am I writing? the current index of all names. Now what I definitely want to do outside the loop, don't forget you want to close this file. I'm going to put in a console dot uh, write line after the file has been updated. 
That way it's easy uh, to see. So I don't have all these names uh, running together. Uh, back up here, after we load the file for the last time, I'm gonna do a um, console.readline. The function key on my keyboard isn't always working uh, like it should, but anyway, let's go ahead and run this program. So we should see the uh, list of names we do, because remember, we're not pulling it from the uh, array, we're pulling it from the file. So we know it's been written because we're outputting it uh, from the file. So we have Herb, Annika, Aria, Anthony, Ladeja, Zaria, Juan, Francesco, Haley, and Tristan. I did update my code because I had the colon uh, before the number, and I went back and put it after the uh, number. So if your looks looks slightly different, that's fine. I don't think it looks professional to have name colon one, then their name, so I just moved that colon around. What name do you wanna remove? So let's say Aria no longer wants to be in the club, the course, whatever it may be. When we hit enter, we should see all the names output except for Aria's name. Anthony should move up, Ladeja should move up, all the names should move up. So let's take a look at what that looks like. And there it is. We can see Aria has been uh, removed. Let's try it with a different name. Let's run it again. And let's try it with a name. Let's do uh, Juan. And we can see Juan has been uh, removed. Juan was in name seven. Francesco, Haley, and Tristan all have moved up one. Everybody else is in the same index. Let's try one more. All right, let's remove uh, Herb, and you can see Annika has moved up to spot one. Tristan and everybody else has also uh, moved up with one. But that is how you remove uh, lines from a text file. You simply need to figure out, okay, what name do I not want to include that text file? And then create it all over again. Hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, please take a moment to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to help the channel grow. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to post a comment below. I do try to read all of them. And if you have a question, I will do my best uh, to answer it for you. But we'll see you guys in the next programming video.